Got another interesting problem here. This one says the numbers from 1 to 12 are placed on identical small pieces of paper, and then they're placed in a hat. If one piece is drawn out at random and you multiply the resulting number by 12, what's the probability that the number will be equivalent to an obtuse angle? So if I had the number 1 on a, my slip of paper, I would do 12 times 1 is 12, and then I have to compare it to an obtuse angle. Well, you should know that obtuse angles are angles which are, they are bigger than 90 and less than 180. So I have to have numbers that I multiply by 12 and they fit into this criteria. Okay, so let's start doing some work here. We know it has to be greater than 90 and we know that we have 12 numbers in the pile and we don't know how many of those numbers are bigger than 90. I should say this 12 represents the number that we're going to multiply every number that we take out of the pile. Okay, so on my left hand side, I'm going to switch colors here. On my left hand side you see I have multiplication going on. The 12x is 12 times x. It has to be bigger than 90. We use inverse operations to solve this. So instead of multiplying by 12, we're going to divide by 12. That'll leave the x alone on my left hand side. So I have x is greater than, we grab our calculator and we carefully type in 90. That's got to go in first. Divided by 12, the number we're going to multiply all the numbers on the slips of paper by. What do you suppose that equals? Well, we get 7.5. So now to the final piece, uh, 7.5, we need numbers that are bigger than that. And we only put whole numbers in the hat. So that would be the number 8, the number 9, the number 10, the number 11, and the number 12. How many numbers do you have here in this set? 5. How many total numbers are in the set is 12. So 5 out of every 12 times you dip your hand into that hat and pull out a number, you should get the number that when you multiply it by 12 is bigger than that obtuse angle. Go ahead and watch this video as many times as it takes to see how to do this probability problem.